Hello, good people, and welcome to the first look at MWF Pro Wood, complete with the redesigned Revit ribbon. Easy to understand buttons have replaced the simplistic single line drop down commands in all the MWF modules. Many commands have been renamed to be more understandable while being relocated to more intuitive locations. Let's take a look at the MWF triangle in the leftmost portion of the ribbon. Here we have placed the control to change modules, the help guides, and video tutorials for the active module, the warnings, the change log, and the about. In this release, we are launching the multi-layer framing functionality. We'll come back and take a look at this set of tools in a little bit. First, we'll look at the new left-to-right workflow mentality. Ideally, users will start by setting up project options, setting up templates, then begin modeling and coordinating before sending these panels to the multiple forms of manufacturing we offer. Let's take a look at the settings dropdown. You'll notice compared to the former MWF dialog box, we've renamed a few commands as well as removed elements such as the template manager and template map. They've been given their own commands in the ribbon. You'll also notice that all of the commands now have a tooltip once hovered over. The panel manager and quick search options have been removed from the selection dropdown and given their own buttons in the ribbon as well. The remaining functionality and commands from the selection dropdown remains the same. Notice the create, quick create, properties, regenerate, and delete functionality all now have a much easier to recognize button in the ribbon. We've introduced the Marker Manager button, which opens the Marker Types dialog box. And now in the Markers dropdown, we find all of our MWF markers, such as Split Markers, Bench Markers, and the ability to add extra vertical markers. The former Panel dropdown has been divided into two new commands, Edits and Tools. Notice all of the single edit operations are now found in the edit dropdown, where the tools dropdown contains a combination of elements from the panel, the anchors and hold downs, and the walls dropdown. Formerly known as walls, the joins dropdown contains all of the commands related to placing joins. The modular dropdown contains all of the modular commands and the sheathing operations remain unchanged. The interference command contains all of the clash detection tools. You'll notice we removed all of the floor clashes, put those into the floor module. Over in the manufacturing portion of the ribbon, we see the ability to open things such as the file manager, create shop drawings, generate all of the available CNCs, as well as perform all of the original output options such as positioning panels that was found in the positioning dropdown, as well as creating those wall reports. At this time, we'll take a quick look at the multi-layer framing functionality that has been introduced into MWF Pro Wood. So we'll pull those commands out into the environment here. And Let's take a look at this common firewall between these two units. You'll notice that this wall type contains two structural layers and an airspace in between. And before, in the previous versions of MWF, it was very important that we only ever had one structural layer. So here in our project settings, we can see all of the available wall types in my project. I'm gonna go down and locate my common firewall here it is, and I notice we are reading the makeup of this wall. So I'll take that first structural layer and I'm going to assign a MWF template to it. Now I can read this second layer 
and assign either the same template or a different template. The multi-layer framing has the ability to recognize uh, secondary layers. Here we can create things such as furring strips, uh, additional horizontals, uh, blocking. We can add additional framing to things like the bottom track and top track. So let's talk about those furrings. We can also control exactly how we want to frame around those openings, as well as specify things such as the families being used, the angle of these furring strips, as well as the spacing. But let's go back and talk about this firewall that we had set up before. So now again, just with that wall selected, click on quick create here. Because we have those wall types set up, you'll notice that we've created two panels within this Revit wall. Let's make our way over to the MWF triangle and select change module. Let's select MWF floors and take a look at the new ribbon here. We'll use that left to right mentality again where we set up our project options and templates. You'll notice from create to markers, everything is the same as before. The former panel dropdown has been divided into three new commands. So here in panel, we see all of the operations similar to before. If we move over to tools, we see all of the tool operations such as projecting the whole series or joist lapping. And then in edits, we have all of the single operations where we can add a member or extend it or delete it. We've introduced the modular commands into the floor as well, recognizing model groups. All of the annotation commands are found here in annotate. The floor module now has its own clash detection engine, as well as the ability to clash members with joists. Here in the floor engineering, everything has just been separated, given its own button. You can find all of the configurations, the tool options here, identical to before. And then we have uh, the ability to manufacture produce those shop drawings or generate any of those CNC's. We'll make our way over to the MWF triangle again, change our module to the MWF truss and rafter option and take a look at the new interface here as well. So again for trusses we're going to go with that left to right mentality where we set up our project with our settings, creating our presets in the Trust Manager and Presets option. Start modeling, or creating envelopes, creating anything such as the valley, hip, jack trusses. Then performing any edit operations such as split caps or scissors, using any of the tool operations there. And then manufacturing, so generating those shop drawings, creating the bill of material reports, or generating the DXFs. MWF rafters here, again related to roofs. Very similar here, if you drop down interference, we have the ability to align elements, regenerate panels also. Uh, all of the tooling operations, very similar to before, easy to find. And then all of the output controls. So the positioning, the tag mapping, or generating CNCs. So this has been a quick look at the brand new MWF Pro Wood module. Hope you enjoyed it. We look forward to talking to you all very soon. Have a great day, good people.